All right, it's the Brooker That Gratitude Guy. To the top without oxygen. That statement was credited to Reinhold Mesner, the first person to climb Mount Everest without supplemental oxygen. Now, I know that um, Lou Whitaker and the uh, Whitaker um, family was the first to go up uh, back, I think it was in the early 60s, and before that, Sir Edmund Hillary, but Reinhold Mesner was the first person to go up Mount Everest without supplemental oxygen. And I always liked that because it kind of represented to me, nothing against the other climbs, but it just kind of represented to me, no excuses, take no prisoners, to the top without oxygen. And I think so often when I'm talking to people about gratitude and how it reframes everything you have in your life versus what you don't have, all your strengths, not your opportunities, all your positives, not your negatives, focusing on your positives, making your strengths relevant, completely relevant, making your your, if you will, weakness is irrelevant. And I think the thing is, is I think that framing is so important. And one of the things I love so much about a gratitude journal is it keeps that present mind awareness of everything you have versus what you don't have. So when you have an attitude of to the top without oxygen, it's sort of a no excuses. I think I said recently on a video, the only excuse is a poor one or one excuse is as good as the next. And I'll find people that say, well, you know, whether it's a gratitude journal or whatever, I don't know if I have time for this or I don't have enough ability to do this or gosh my day is too packed and how can I figure in gratitude but if you notice if you get grateful everything in your life has such a better perspective such a positive mindset that it puts into our brain by just spending that five or six minutes a day on gratitude so think about that the next time that something comes up it seems like well it's overwhelming and just think about to the top without oxygen, no excuses, do it. It makes such a big difference, just like Reinhold Mesner said years ago. That's the message for today. Have a grateful day. We'll see you tomorrow.